Alright guys, this is just a video tutorial on how to set up Blackmagic Intensity Pro because I had a lot of trouble setting it up and I know there's not a many videos out there on how to do it so let me show you the way I did it. Okay, over here we have the box that it comes from. Just make sure you got the same one here. Now by now hopefully you guys know how to uh, set it up in your computer, have it installed, uh, updated the drives on there. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how I set it up here. Let me get some light. If you will got in the black magic on here you would have gotten this breakout cable here with all these crazy cables and over here is the, the HDMI out and in port which you're gonna be using And let me just show you how it looks like in the manual. And this will guide you if you're lost and how to read the cables and what they are, and which is the in, input and output. This will help you a lot and help you understand better. If you have trouble understanding, I'll guide you the way. But yeah, this is setting up how to basically record on your PS3 this is my PS3 and let me just say if you want to broadcast in PS3 you won't be able to do it with the HDMI cable for the input you're gonna need a component cable that's right this right here it's gonna be the component cable which let me show you the box right here it should be looking like these basically five little wires sitting with green red and blue if you got those cables that just come in three and they're yellow uh... red and white then you got the AV composite cables which you got the wrong ones you need the component cables this is just an example component video stereo and I'm just going step by step for you guys that don't know how the how the cables work. Uh, example, if you got these, these are the composite cables or AV cables. This is the really crap crappy quality that you used to use like on your PS1, PS2. Um, component cables are the extra wires that if you get it confused with the composite cables, which are. Uh, if I could get them. This is how mine looks like for the component cables. And the the way you're gonna want this set up on your breakout cable is since your PS3, you're gonna hook up the com component cables as the input. So it's gonna plug into your breakout. Um, first you get the green cable which is going to be dealing with the video and you're going to be looking for the input and they're all they're all labeled on here if you want to check you can't really read the video on there that should say uh, 8y in basically just look for the in you know it's the input plug it in green with green blue with blue this one says on here uh, by in red with red remember there's two different red ones red is for the basic stereo audio this is ry input red cable and the other red <coughs> cable should be the audio right side input 
and basically the same thing with other wires just keep looking for the input here's the audio left which is the it's gonna be the blue audio cable input they're basically in order not that hard remember component cables in the input not in the output you won't be uh, needing these alright if you got those plugged in the right way if you get lost look at your manual to see which is the input and output they're really labeled on here so you shouldn't be lost alright next would be messing with the output on here like I said earlier this is PS3 connection you're working on we're gonna be doing doing with the component but you could use the HDMI cable for the output if you're wet messing with a 360 you would have used the input HDMI cable here and the HDMI cable uh, which is a lot a lot easier to set up a 360 but PS3 is a little bit tricky since it doesn't allow uh, HDMI cable for the input but anyways get a HDMI cable for the output and plug it in which this one goes all the way to behind the TV output should be all over there it's really plugged in to your HDMI output I have two on my TV and it's set for the HDMI number two okay now we go back to the computer here um, let's look at the control panel I know it's a little hard to see but uh, I'll try to zoom in as close as possible look for the black magic control panel if it's kinda hard to see it should say set output and right here it gives a little drop box here It should be under HDMI and Y, comma R slash Y B slash Y. That's gonna be your output, which is the HDMI cable. Leave it as it is. And here's a set input. And this is what you're gonna change. Since you have the input for the component, it's not gonna be under HDMI video. It's not gonna be HDMI video analog. It's gonna be the third selection, which is gonna be Y, and it gives you a long selection R slash y b y basically you know com the component cable pick the third one on there uh... you really don't have to mess with these settings yet just press ok uh... then you will go to start sorry about that i'm trying to look at the computer at the same time and basically look for the black magic design. I know it's hard to see, that's why I'm guiding you at the same time. It should be under deck link, black magic media express right there. Now for me, every time I use this, it crashes on the capture. Uh the only way I need to have this fix is by downloading the version two black magic media express, which I'm gonna show you now. This is version 2, the one that I use. Wait, this black screen shows up in the right corner. This is the screen that's going to show up for the PS3 screen. Over here it says playback, capture. And you're going to click on capture on there to show the video. And I'll guide you on there. First of all, make sure, go to edit, preferences. I know you can't really see it. That's why I'm guiding you by saying it. Uh, right over here should say project video format now in the beginning you should have it on NTSC which is usually used for um, composite cable which you're gonna set it as okay and that's it um, now this is gonna be the tricky part since you already took out your old cables, make sure you don't have other cables like your old HDMI cable plug into your PS3. Just the component cable by itself. Now, 
we're gonna set this to the default display settings of the PS3 